All right, I got the three filters that you guys wanted right here. You guys wanted me to compare these three because they're the most popular. This is the new, if you look, look how small this box is compared to these. It's shorter. So, if you look here, let's uh, pull this out. Synthetic Endurance. Pull this one out of here. Now, what's the claim here? Uh, it says this is a 15,000 mile protection, hot and cold temperature. 99% efficiency, 20 microns, let me see. Hot and cold temperature synthetic blend media provides 99% dirt trap. Oh, so it is a synthetic blend media. Silicone anti drain back valve helps keep and ensure the engine startup. Proven protection up to 15,000 miles used with appropriate oil. And uh, no, it just says 99% efficiency. It doesn't say the micron rating. Probably something like 30 microns or whatever, because it's not the high end filter, but it seems like it's it's got some weight to it. Now, let's look at the ultra synthetic. That was the tough guard. This is the ultra synthetic 20,000 mile perfect seal gasket, superior dirt holding capacity, which it does hold a lot of dirt. 99% dirt trapping, 20,000 mile tested. This filter is 99% efficiency at 20 microns. It is 94% uh, efficiency at 15 microns, and it's like 73% efficiency at 10 microns. So it's a very, very high filtering filter, which means there's some restriction here. Uh, this here, let's see what kind of claim they have 25,000 mile high flow synthetic oil filter. 360 degree protection, textured grip, perfect seal, non-stick gasket, heavy duty base plate, full synthetic interior media. Okay. Wire mesh media support. Okay. Filter designed to endure today's high temperatures, high pressure, and high Engine efficiency, easier install and removal with perfect seal, heavy duty product to maximize durability. Let's cut them open. I'm not going to show the whole process of me cutting them open because it's a disaster watching me cut these things open with this cutter over here. So let's cut them open real quick.
synthetic media. You can see the metal mesh right there. The back's the synthetic media. Try to rip it open. And it has a steel core and the metal mesh goes all the way through it. It's got plenty of glue in the top and the bottom. A little sloppy with some of the the glue here, but whatever. Uh, let's see here. Four point five ounces. Five point six ounces. This has a dual layer cellulose. But some of these, no, this is one of the actual. If you look at it, see how red it is. This is actually one of the full synthetic ones that doesn't have the blend like the newer one does. The Fram Ultra changed to more pleats inside, and it has a cellulose backing with a synthetic exterior. This actually, when you look through there, you can see. This is one of the older styles that was the better, less restrictive Ultra. You can see it's got the cage back there right behind it. It's got the metal in there. So this is one of the pure synthetic ones with no cellulose. This is also 100% synthetic like that one, except this one's got a different type of screen inside. Let's look. This one has a stamped edge where it comes together. It's got a piece of, it's not glued, it's just, it's glued and stamped together. See, this one has a much more robust screen where that one's more like the some of the other, I don't know if it's like a Wix XP that's the full uh, synthetic inside and it's got the little screen behind it. This is the full synthetic, um, the ultra synthetic where it's got a more robust screen. It actually has a metal stamping in between and it's got a metal core in the center. So that's the deal with this here. Let's go ahead and put this one down and... Let's try this one here. So this is two ounces, that's 4.5 ounces, and this is 5.8 ounces. And this here, we all know it's cardboard end cap stuff. This is what it looks like inside this one. It's very basic. It's not a terrible filter, but it's also a filter that I wouldn't choose either just because of it's just kind of low quality to be honest with you i'm just i'm not going to sugarcoat things but um for most general purposes of quick oil changes this will be fine for longer i'm going to go with something like these um the same leaf spring same bypass this is different no it's not it's the same a little bit different design it's got the same zero stamping right there in the corner this is more polished and yeah, so this is more of a polished style where this is more basic It's like this spring is tougher to open. Okay. Um, silicone anti drain back valve. It's a little bit different than that one. These are different style. Check this in cap. 6.4 ounces. <clears throat> Big holes. Only six of them. This has eight holes that are not small, but those are much larger there. Uh, 6.2 ounces. Six 
6.2 ounces. Yeah, these are the same end caps on both of these here. The Ultra and the Fram Tough Guard. And it looks like this has one, two, three, four threads. Looks like this one has one, two, three, four. Maybe five? A little bit wider, it looked like. And then this here. Seems like it's more pronounced, even though it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. <clears throat> this is the Tough Guard. It's got that blue line on it. It's the same as the one that's in the Ultra Synthetic. This is a little taller. So this one has more of a seal to it. Seems like same material to be honest with you. It just seems like it's fatter. Seems like it's just a thicker seal and that's it. Hmm. Okay, um, if I had to choose one between the three. I don't know, I almost have to say that I don't feel like this is that much of a benefit to the old one. I'm just going to be straight with you. I feel like this one that still had the metal screen inside it or the revised version is more than enough. And this wasn't even necessary. I'm going to struggle with this one. I don't quite know exactly how I feel on this. I think this is just a little over. There's no, no need for it. It looks like it's a... Hmm. It's a nice filter, don't get me wrong. And I like the can. I like... Just overall, it just feels very, very nice. But it's shorter. It doesn't have as much to it. There's not a benefit to the base plate. Uh, the can is pretty strong. Feels like it's stronger than this. It seems like overall the can's better. It seems like just the material might the the material's better. Like the filtering material itself is maybe just a little bit better than the Ultra. The Ultra has a better inner screen. Uh, out of these, I would still have to pick the Ultra. I'm sorry. That's what I would do. I'd pick the Ultra. I might try this one, but the Ultra seems like the best bang for the buck here out of the group. This one here has a, I think, better can and better O-ring on the end. So that might be the benefit to steer you this way. But for me personally, I would just pick the Ultra. But some of you guys might find better. The overall benefit to this is the synthetic media. Not having this blended synthetic here. Um, and the fact that they say it's a it's rated at a, as a high flow filter with bigger holes and stuff in the end cap itself. Uh, it'd have to be between... You guys would have to choose yourself on how you fit, feel, felt about this. I think this is going to be a personal thing. It's not going to be so much which one is substantially better. If you're going to run extended oil change intervals, obviously the endurance might be the thing for you, but so would the Ultra because it can handle it. And they're saying that can handle 15,000 miles as well. So it's, uh, well, I guess it all depends on how you look at it and how you want to approach it. I think, um, hmm. I'd still have to pick the Ultra. I think the, the Ultra is the best bang for your buck and nice enough. You can still find the old ones that still had the metal mesh in it. There's still lots of them on the shelf. You just open the box up and look down on an angle and you can see the metal mesh in there in the holes. You see it right there? So you can tell right away whether it's not it's the new updated one that doesn't have it or if it's still the older one. Let me know what you guys think. How do you feel about this? Remember, say something nice to somebody. Do something nice for somebody. Check on somebody. Just smile at a stranger, whatever it may be. Um, I hope you guys do well and have a great day. Be blessed.